my home welcome back to the kitchen and welcome back to the vlog it is 61 degrees here in texas it is 1205 tuesday the 18th of october and uh it is a beautiful beautiful fall day i am just so excited it was in the upper 40s low 50s this morning and it was just fabulous we are home from our cruise and obviously and uh for the next couple of days, we're gonna have this beautiful weather. So it's perfect. Coming home from the cruise, it's perfect to have this weather. Today, I'm collaborating with RW Flame and the fireplace that I have been telling you about. So we're gonna take a peek at that in just a minute. Really quickly, I need to change my battery again. And we're going to get into my Chalk Zero order. They have some new products. I wanna show it to you. Not an affiliation or anything. Um, Y'all just know I love Chalk Zero. So I'm gonna show you that. Then we're gonna go take a look at the fireplace. We're gonna get some stuff done around the house. And then we're gonna quickly throw together the soup and um, call this vlog done. Okay, so you're gonna have to excuse my lip. Um, I had a very bad allergic reaction on the ship. Again, this sailing. And um, I thought my lips were sunburned. Uh, later come to find out they were very swollen from an allergic reaction um so uh they blistered up it was really bad so that's what's left of that and um i'm so sorry it'll go away soon okay so i placed a huge chalk zero order they were having a sale and i dove in and picked up a whole bunch of stuff uh it shipped out in a big box that i paid which then, because my order was large enough, was free. Um, I added in the extra protection from the heat uh, packing. I prefer to order my Chalk Zero about this time until like March. Uh, I will occasionally order it in the warmer months, but I really prefer not to because it's really hard to ship it 
and not have it melt or have any kind of issues. So that's not Track Zero's fault, that's the weather's fault. So I have ordered this, the Halloween Peanut Butter Ghosts. So let's see what this looks like because this is new. Well, it's like a peanut butter cup, but the shape is new, the ghost is new. And uh, last year they were just solid pumpkins, solid milk chocolate pumpkins or dark chocolate pumpkins and ghosts. So here he is. Oh my goodness, he looks so delicious. Y'all, that is delicious. Delicious. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna meet again in just a minute, my friend. Mouth is watering. These are the caramel milk chocolate. These are new this year. Um, so kind of like the who makes the little squares that are milk with caramel in them? Who makes those? My kids love them. And I buy them every year. They come in the gold packaging. I don't know. Um, but I buy them every year. And now we have Chalk Zero ones. Look at this. Oh, man. That is really good. Okay. That is outstanding. <clears throat> I'm going to finish that in just a minute. There you go. So good. And then my favorites, you all know, the coconut and chocolate covered almonds. The, what are these? Still coconut. The toffee, uh, milk chocolate and toffee covered almonds. So good. In fact, these are my favorite. And so I only get one or two of these because I can't control myself. This one is the white chocolate pumpkin spice dipped almonds. And this one is white chocolate and caramel style. White chocolate, yeah, white chocolate caramel squares like the milk chocolate. These are the white chocolate. Mm. Now, do remember, these are a treat. This is not something you should eat every day. This is not something you should eat in large quantities. But, you know, you're not gonna really hurt yourself if you have one indulging day, you know, like Halloween or something like that, and you wanna join in with everybody else. You've got some candy, you've got some treats. I like to put them in my purse when I have a serious sweet tooth. I like, I just, y'all know I love Chalk Zero and I always have it, so. Uh-oh. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Another one? Okay, well, I bought four of them. Oh, that's right. They had a four-pack. That's why I bought four of them. And then this was a four pack deal, so I bought two of them because I absolutely love the dipped almonds. Which is, I love them. I'm not supposed to eat them. Whoops. I'm not supposed to eat all these almonds, but they're nice to have on hand, and I try and control myself. I'm not very good at that. But it's the holiday season, and I'm ready to have a little fun. Um, after today, I will be slowly pushing myself back into the keto war, where it's mostly just bacon, eggs, cheese, uh, beef, you know, that kind of thing. And then the week of Thanksgiving, I'll get back into having a little fun, and then right back on track after that, in the week of Christmas, and then of course when we cruise. So this is the kind of thing I like to bring when we cruise, but I will tell you this, I went overboard in the sweets this last cruise. Really, it was bad. And then these are new, I'm not gonna open these right now, but this is the Keto Chocolate Peanut Butter Sauce and then the Keto Fudge Sauce. <gasps> mm -hmm. Think about this on um, some like Keto ice cream. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So I wanted to have these on hand for the holiday season. Also because I am in love with banana splits and while bananas are not keto or any of that, you can, you can make it a little less of an indulgence if you use keto uh, ice creams and sauces like this and then you still have the banana. It's not that bad, if you know what I mean. So there you go. So you could get the, um, oh, what is that brand ice cream? You used to get Rebel, Rebel, Rebel ice creams. You get strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate Rebel ice cream and your bananas and then the fudge sauce from these and you're okay. You know, you're not, it's not that bad 
of a treat, maybe only half a banana or something like that, or a smaller banana. Okay, that's it, that's everything. I will leave my Chalk Zero code down in the description box. You get a discount if you use my code, I get a discount too, but I think you get $10 off your order or 15% off, it depends upon what they're doing at the moment. So um, I'll leave it down there. Again, not an affiliate link, it is not an affiliate link, it's just the same link you will get when you shop at Chalk Zero. Um, so yes, and y'all know how much I love Chalk Zero. So now I can find a place in my cabinet over here for all of this candy. So there's that. Now we're gonna go and do a little laundry. We're gonna tidy up around the house a little bit and uh, I'll take you with me while I'm doing that. I do still need to vacuum the living room. My brisket is just now finished. So I'm gonna check that, make sure it doesn't need to go a little bit longer. And um, then we'll let that kind of chill for a minute and uh, then we will make our soup. guys okay so here is my beautiful rw flame fireplace it's so petite it's so pretty i absolutely love it and i have so many ideas on how we're going to style this over the next few months but currently let's see it is 20 percent off currently and i will leave it linked down in the description box for you this was kindly gifted to me from rw flame and i am very excited you guys know how much i love fireplaces I do have another RW Flame box in the house. It is the one in the bedroom. And I believe the box in the kitchen, actually. So I've, in the living room, so I have two more. So um, I've had no problems with the boxes. Many times you buy the fireplace surround separate or the like on Wayfair and places like that. It'll be like a package deal. So it'll come with the fire box. It's not actual fire, it's LED, it's a light box. Um, 
and it'll come separate so you can buy your surround and purchase the set the inset but I'm gonna leave you a link to the website. It's not just this one that there is. This particular one happens to be on sale. And I am gonna link it down below. And also, if you use the code STOVEWA, then you will also get for nine additional cents, nine cents, 0 .09 cents, you will get a uh, two-year warranty. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I'm gonna tell you, I run these things. You guys see me, I run them all the time for long periods of time. They do produce heat. This one, you can change the colors. I'm gonna show that to you in just a minute. Um, so we're gonna get into this, but currently I am going to spend a little time tidying up right here because all my advent calendars are right here. Yes, I picked up a couple more. It's me. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna show you unboxing, which I did several weeks ago when it came in. Um, we the date for this video kind of got moved around a little bit. So uh, this is me unboxing and bring it in into the house. I'm going to tidy this up real quick and then we'll be back and I'm going to show you this. have the lights turned off in this room so that you can truly see the color of the flame. This is a glass front here on this and this is a metal box here surrounding this. Now this one is petite so it's about two feet tall and this surface up here will get warm. So what I was thinking was since it gets warm when you turn the heater on not when just the flame flame is on but when you turn the heater on this surface will get warm up here. So what I was thinking is you could put a nice heat proof ceramic container up there with some wax melts in it. Wouldn't that be lovely? And yes, I'm going to be doing that. Um, I just picked up a couple of fall uh, ceramic containers that I used uh, at, on our tablescape recently. They're going to be coming up here. Also picked up those candles from Target that are uh, pumpkin shaped. They've burned down to the bottom, a couple of them have, so I can put them up here with no candle on while the heater's on. Yes. So this morning was a perfect morning to come in here and cozy up. Very dark, very, very early this morning. Cozy up next to the fireplace with a kitty in my lap and a doggy at my feet. So um, you can change the color. This remote, very simple to use. You can change the color. See, it's red, blue, red, and orange. Back again. And you can also change the color of the logs. Red orange where it kind of it's a deep dark orange and then here's red again this is the light orange this is where I typically keep it but um, this one is also nice as well so you can change the speed of the flame so you can where is it where is it where is it where is it, where is it? here it is you go very fast super fast and nice and super slow and then the one that I like which is the medium speed. You can also set a timer on here and here is the heat. So you can turn the heat on and you can set the temperature. These are glass doors so if you prefer you can obviously press the buttons down here on the panel or you can use your remote whichever you prefer. So the remote requires those little circle batteries. See there's a light bar up here, a heat bar right up here. Uh, you can see it glowing in there. So it has a fan that pushes against that hot bar. So you don't want this around curtains. You, this is, you know, a, a space heater. You want to be aware and uh, conscientious of fabrics and items sitting on top of here. So for example, this, I would take this off because it's wood and, you know, you just, just in case. So again, I would put the ceramic up here. Now I just turned the heater on so it's not hot yet to burn me, uh, but you can adjust the temperature um, you know, there's, we set the temperature, so now it's adjusting, so off, on, lower, 
off, high speed, low speed, and off. Okay? So I turned it off just so we don't hear the fan here. Um, but you can remove these stickers. I just left them on so that you could see them. They should come off quite easily. Yep, comes right off, no residue. And I'll pull that one off in a minute. So, but you have these pretty doors that you could leave open, or you can close them, or you can leave one open and one closed, you know, for the aesthetic, whatever you would like. Um, but I just think this is lovely. This is a uh, metal box around it. Don't forget to read your instructions and your safety instructions, of course. This is why I know um, this appliance is hot when operated and can cause severe burns if touched, so keep that in mind. So if you have littles, this might not be the one for you, but they have different ones on the website. You know, there's lots of options. I had some things in mind about this fireplace. Now, uh, I'm going to try and pop a couple of pictures up on the screen that we are going to be working on over the next few months. Now, you guys know holiday time is not the time to be doing home projects, for me in particular. Um, yes, it's a CR2025 battery. Uh, there you go. Yeah, so I basically told you everything about it. But it came assembled. Uh, all I had to do was place the legs on, which was really easy. Very, very simple. Just a screwdriver. So, um, so, old world home. I don't know if you guys watch Hillary, but I adore her. She's so peaceful. She's just easy to watch. She's calm. She's peaceful. So, um, in her old house, before the one she's in now, which I love, love her house, obviously. It's on land. It's a country home. I love it. Um, she had a fireplace similar to this. She had an electric fireplace, very similar to this. Hers was a little more narrow. Um, but she had it set in a fireplace mantle. That's what I want to do here. Now, I can't decide what type of mantle I want to do. If I want to do it's just one that, you know, you would put a fire box on, um, kind of like a wood-burning stove, uh, similar to what I grew up with, with uh, up at our lake house, where we had the stone and the brick on the floor and then the pebbles and the rocks going up the wall to block the heat, to you know, to give it a heat-proof surface where the, gap, the uh, wood-fired stove was. Um, we had two, we had a pot belly stove and then we had something very similar to this, but it was an actual fire box, you know, you put actual wood in it. Very, very hot. <laughs> in Texas, that would heat up. Oh my goodness, it was so hot. <laughs> You'd end up opening the windows. <laughs> it was that hot. Anyway, um, but it would have been nice in that freeze, Snowmageddon, a couple years ago. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I want to do here. But at the same time, I really want an actual mantle to go across. So I think what I want to do is kind of build on that idea of the brick on the floor, but not actual brick. I probably would like to do like some wood that maybe looks like brick. I don't know. And then something going up the wall and then a mantle at the top. We're going to kind of play with it. We're going to, we're just going to experiment, but I want to do it. Like I want to make it. I don't want to, um, buy it. I really would like to fabricate it myself. So, you know, in next year, I don't know when next year we have so much going on, but I'd like to try and find the time to do that. So that's, that's the plan for this. Is it going to happen in six months to a year? Well, who knows, but that's the plan. So, um, I just think that that would look so, so nice. So for those of you who have the time and those of you who are talented, because I know so many of you are, that would be an excellent option for this. So I will leave this link down in the description box for you. I would like to thank again, RW Flame for reaching out to me and sending this to me, gifting this to me. Now, in full disclosure, I'm going to leave you two links down in the description box, one straight to it. And one is a commission link. If you use my link, I will earn a small commission off of that. If you choose not to do that, that I, you're not going to hurt my feelings. You do whatever you'd like to do. You can go directly to the website and purchase without any affiliation to me whatsoever. You do what you would like to do. But I encourage you to uh, go and shop at RW Flame. Um, it's a way that you can uh, show your appreciation to companies reaching out and sharing with us so that we can see these beautiful products. You guys know I'm very particular about what I share with you and about who I will collaborate with, not just anybody, um, because I don't want to 
I kind of feel like if you share too much, if you collaborate too much, how could you really honestly care about the items that you're sharing about? And this is something you clearly know I love. So I'm comfortable sharing this with you. I'm confident in the product. So there you go. So that's very important to me. Very important to me. So, and the, isn't this cute? This is from Shein from last year. I have no idea if you can still get it. It's acrylic and lightweight. It's perfect for the weather we're having today where it's the high today is 60. I'm always cold so I can have the windows open and things like that. So yeah. And then my necklace. Can you see it? Isn't it pretty? The necklace. My kitty cat necklace. So this is available at Rock's Box or Kendra Scott. I will leave it linked for you. Anyway. Okay. I'm sorry that my cameras went off. So you see, oh goodness, you see these, aren't they pretty? This, and then this beautiful necklace, my kitty cat, you saw, well, you haven't yet, but you will see on the cruise box. I need to pull my uh, clasp around. And this, these are from Rock's Box. You guys, they are so pretty. Now, if you use my link with Rock's Box, you get 20, uh, 21, you get your first box free plus a one month credit. Um, so you can get a big discount on this. Uh, so I, I absolutely, they're not inexpensive, but I wore them quite a bit before the cruise and now I'm wearing them after the earrings, uh, the necklace I uh, just got from Rock's Box. So I'm definitely going to be keeping these. I absolutely love them. And I do believe one of you used my link. I want to thank you since my camera cut me off sincerely for using my link. I really do appreciate it. You get a credit and I get a credit. Um, and of course that's always fun. Now, when you get your rocks box, people are going to comment on your jewelry and you're just going to have to tell them, look, this is where I got it. And you have to tell them about rocks box and tell them about the credit. And then they'll be like, Hey, I really want to do that. And then you can share your code with them. You can, so you can give them a very short coupon code or a link. You can text them a link or whatever you want. Share it on your Facebook page anything like that, share with your friends so that you can get credits as well for your friends using it. And then they'll share and they'll get credits. So, you know, it's just, I think Roxbox has one of the best referral programs. I really do. Um, because that's a pretty significant discount of $25. So 21 to $26. Sometimes they'll give you, they'll send you an email. If you add things to your wish list, they'll give you another $5 off. You get credit on your birthday and things like that. So so there you go. It's so, so cute. I just absolutely love it. Okay, I'm gonna get busy around this house. Anywhere that you go, blue skies are sure to follow. It happens every time. You're my silver lining, daydream, never mind, and light inside my eyes. Sunshine on me now. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 You put a smile on my face, make me dance out in the rain. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. You make every day a dream come true with every little thing you do. Each man. Creating full of imagination, perfectly designed. My whole heart is taken, all yours, no mistaking, always on my mind. I think about you all the time. You pick me up when I'm down, put that sunshine on me now. Make me dance out in the rain oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 You make every day a dream come true With every little thing you do
when I'm down Put that sunshine on me now Yeah, on me now Now, now, now You put a smile on my face Make me dance out in the rain Oh, 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 oh Oh, 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 oh You make every day a dream come true With every little thing you do Oh, 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 oh Oh, 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 oh You make every day a dream come true Here is this year's Christmas Lego set so I'm very behind in building these, but I do have this for this year. I pick them up every year. As soon as they come out, I do pick them up. So there's this year's set. Let me get it over here. Real quick, I'll go over the advent calendars I have for this year because again, now is the time to buy them. So this is the Rituals of Advent Countdown to Christmas calendar. Uh, Heba did an unboxing of this, so I will leave her link down in the description box if you're interested in seeing what's in here now. Um, so she did an unboxing of this one. And something that's brand new to me is the White Company. Never ever purchased anything from the White Company. Again, Heba. Heba <laughs> heavily influences me on products. <laughs> um, this is the advent calendar which she unboxed and showed on her channel. Um, so if you're interested now in knowing what's in this box, Heba has done an unboxing. And again, I will leave it linked in the description box for you. But um, yeah, I am so excited about this one. I'm excited about the products in here. I did mention to you that there are, you know, last year I was overwhelmed, overwhelmed with products. I used all the rituals, uh, most of them, a good majority of the rituals items. Some of them I passed on. Um, and I think I will in this box as well. And bug is in here. And the Valuspa, 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 um, Valuspa candle advent. Uh, it's candles <laughs> and I thoroughly enjoyed this last year and loved it now this is the smaller candle uh, advent these are the minis so the teeny tiny little mini ones these are great in the bathroom they're great sitting at my desk so these aren't the they're the mini ones they're like a what is it votive size candles so there you go there's this now, if I can find the bigger one, um, last year I picked it up on sale. So if I can find it closer to Christmas or even after Christmas on sale with the bigger candles that are like twice the size, two times the votive size, you know, um, I will actually pick it up if I can get it on sale. But it's kind of expensive, so there's that. But I have burned pretty much all of them throughout the year. Um, I love them. Again, great in the bathroom because they're small, so they're good for a small space. I will leave that linked for you. And the Lego Creator, it's the little London bus. So I picked that up, isn't it cute? It's so cute, come on. Y'all know I'm obsessed with everything UK, including the vloggers that are there. <laughs> Can't help it. And uh, yeah, so that's everything. Okay, that's enough. I'll see you when it's time to cook. I'm dreaming about the place.
All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this vlog. Um, I will leave everything we talked about linked down in the description box. Um, I don't really think there's any affiliate links other than the RW Flame. And like I told you, you don't have to use that link. Um, but, uh, I mean, maybe the advent calendars if you're interested in those. Maybe those might be affiliate links. Anyway, but uh, my soup was really good. Um, I sort of improvised. I mean, I'll put the recipe that I sort of based the soup off of down in the description box, but um, I really just sort of did my own thing. I've braised briskets on this channel many, many times. Um, I showed you. It's just super simple. You just throw it in there and you throw in the spices and the onions and the garlic. And um, I used a chicken stock that um, I had from uh, roasting or cooking a chicken, um, a whole chicken. And uh, so I used that chicken stock. It was half frozen. That's why you saw that big blob in there, <laughs> just so you know. Um, and then uh, I, instead of using beef broth from a bottle or a jar or whatever, a can, box, um, I used the beef broth from braising the brisket. So it was really good. And the recipe called for diced tomatoes. I didn't want to use diced tomatoes, so I used some tomato paste. Um, you just cook it a little bit in the bottom of the pan to get the raw flavor out of the, the bitterness, kind of out of the, the uh, tomato paste. Um, and I didn't have, it, the recipe called for rice cauliflower and whole cauliflower chunks, uh, florets. I didn't have any, so um, I had broccoli, and I thought about throwing the broccoli in there, but the green beans were in there, and so that was fine. Um, I didn't put enough carrot in there. I should have put a little more, and uh, I didn't have a white onion, so I used a red onion. So, you know, you just kind of improvise with what you have. So we haven't gone to the grocery store since getting home from um, our trip, and, you know, I kind of want to cook through what I have before I go to the grocery store. So, um, we're going to be having a lot of basic meals going forward. So there you go. Um, and, uh, I don't think we're going to have any home vlogs for a couple of weeks while we're uploading so many cruise vlogs, because I am going to be pushing to get these cruise vlogs through so that we can get to the dream. And that'll be two or three weeks of vlogs and then it also gives me a little time to get ahead on home vlogs so that I've got a week or so before I post a vlog. Uh, it's difficult when I'm like today I'm vlogging and then posting almost immediately the turnaround uh, with work and everything it's a little difficult to get the editing done but you know especially when I'm editing cruise vlogs so you guys know um, and then that just kind of after the cruise vlogs will start our season of just home vlogs and you know vlogmas is coming and things like that so there you go so just a little update just let you know kind of where we are what's going on so thank you so much for joining us today i want to thank rw flame again for gifting me this fireplace and allowing me to share it with you and we'll see all the fun things we can do with it over the next few months or so as we dress up the entire area so really make this room warm and cozy you know fun Anyway, and surround it with a bunch of cruise pictures that I need to have framed. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. It is free. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're so inclined. It does help the channel out. And uh, we will see you in the next one very soon. Bye.